Elected officials from New Orleans, Cedric Richmond and Mitch Landrieu were national co-chairs of Biden's re-election campaign. Sabrina Wilson has their reaction to Biden ending his bid for a second term. Yes, I found out before he made the decision public uh, and released a statement. Just hours earlier, New Orleanian Cedric Richmond, a co-chair of Biden's re-election campaign, had been on national TV reiterating Biden's stance that he was staying in the race. Were you surprised that he decided to bow out? Well, a little bit. And I would just say that um, it was a self-fulfilling prophecy that Democrats were creating in terms of drying up the money. Um, internal circular f firing squad. Ultimately, Richmond says Biden put others before himself. At the end of the day, uh, the president who has always put the country and people over himself made that decision again. And that was he didn't think that him being the candidate was more important than stopping Donald Trump, preserving the democracy, uniting the country. And so he made the decision to uh, withdraw his candidacy and I support his decision. Richmond, who left Congress to become a senior advisor in the Biden administration, says Biden could have beaten Trump. With the right amount of financial support, I think he wins. But that financial support was drying up by the donors. And at that point, you have to reevaluate. And so running with two hands tied behind your back is never an easy uh, proposition. And we knew from the beginning that it would be a close race. So um, I think he made the right decision under the circumstances. Former New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landry, who served as Biden's infrastructure czar and was also a co-chair of the Biden campaign, said, it was the greatest honor of my life to serve President Joe Biden in the White House and as co-chair of this campaign. He saved our country and is the most consequential president of my lifetime. This is a selfless act of courage that puts the country first, as he has always done across his career. Further, Landrieu said, I am proud to support Vice President Kamala Harris as the next Democratic nominee for president. The contrast in November will be clear, a distinguished prosecutor versus a convicted felon. Biden endorsed Harris in a tweet. I asked Richmond if the party will unite behind her. Well, there'll be a process. We'll go to the convention, and I think that um, Vice President Harris will emerge. I think the party will unite behind her. She has to pick a vice president or whoever the nominee is has to pick a vice president uh, running mate. And I think the party is going to unite. I think that the focus will now go back to Donald Trump with this Project 2025, with him talking about Hannibal Lecter at every speech. The chair of the Louisiana Democratic Party said, we're confident that Joe Biden's legacy will inspire his successor to preserve and continue to advance his transformative economic, international, and legislative accomplishments. I think that his accomplishments are historic. It's the largest investment ever in climate change. He was able to pass an infrastructure bill. Richmond says Democrats believe in government of the people by the people. And he said even though there is what he called a preferred candidate in Vice President Harris, they want to make sure that it's an open and democratic process.